Today we will be demonstrating PDO threads. What are PDO threads? They're polydioxinone suture material that are absorbable suture material to help enhance and build collagen with neocollagenesis. So the patient today has already had lip filler for lip augmentation. We already enhanced the vermilion border as well as the body. But you can also use PDO threads in conjunction with fillers and any of the neurotoxins as well in order to define contour and volumize the lips even further or to help any other deficits. So if we take a look at this patient's lips who already has a nice defined enhanced lip volume and border on the vermilion border as well as the body and we also already did a little bit of filler in the oral commissures. So taking a look at the patient's lips I would actually give her a little more enhancement of the philtrum with the philtrum columns. I would be able to put PDO threads all the way from the tip of Cupid's bow to help peek it up and lift up her lip. You never want to over enhance it because you don't want the patient to have a duck lip. You also can go ahead and add PDO threads in the oral commissures to give a little more structural support as well as in the mental crease which I already did a little bit of fillers to smooth out the skin there as well. So I am actually supporting the oral commissure with PDO threads to help open up the corners of the mouth. And the patient is nice and numb. So if we can take a look at here, there are different patterns and techniques whereby we can place our PDO threads. So everything is all about architectural design. So how I try to look at it is you can either cross mesh the threads or you can place them in the areas that the threads are needed in order to build collagen. The threads are delivered through the needles. The needle deposits the thread, builds the collagen around the area. So the actual insertion site is not going to be precise as to where the collagen will be. It'll be all along this area. So I put some PDO threads that are screws or twists, filaments, which are considered monofilaments, in order to be able to give a little more structural support and smooth this area in conjunction with the prior fillers that we had already placed in. As you can see, they're very tiny needles. You may get some little droplets of blood that goes away. People rarely bruise from this, so it's very minimal downtime. So that was in order to give a little bit of structural support. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a thread for the philtrum. This is how we can combine PDO threads with dermal fillers, or we can use PDO threads alone. So the beauty of PDO threads is that you can use it by itself in order to augment, enhance, define lips, as well as cheeks, but different threads for different areas, just as we pick different fillers for different areas of the face. So the mono filaments that I just used were mono screws. You could also use mono smooth in order to help augment the lips in the body, as well as build the filtral columns as well as the oral commissure support.